Uh, well, Megan, you're of the view also that uh, this austerity program is going to do us in the medicine is going to kill us. Yeah, I think so. I mean, this, this fiscal compact is being touted as the first steps towards fiscal union, but in and of itself, it, it's not fiscal union at all. All it really does is institutionalize this asymmetric adjustment in the Eurozone, whereby the periphery is making all of the adjustment and the core is making none of it. And I think all that does is ensure that the recession in the periphery will be even deeper. And do you think, explain that, why is that? Well, because the periphery is having to undergo the adjustment, which involves austerity and retrenchment to undergo an internal devaluation so that they can regain competitiveness um, with respect to the core. Um, and, and austerity only serves to undermine growth, as, as do all of the structural reforms that the periphery countries are having to implement. Um, you know, in three plus years, eventually they'll bite and start supporting growth, but there's a very large upfront cost to them. And so over the next few years, we'll see GDP contract in the periphery quite significantly, and that's just insured by this fiscal compact, which is insisting that essentially all the weaker countries in the Eurozone must look more like Germany. What do you think we should do? You know, I think that Ireland had an opportunity when the government came into power to try to renegotiate the bailout. It missed that opportunity. And so if, if the Irish government is to weigh up all of its um, options, I think it's in Ireland's best interest to do whatever it takes to protect its relationship with the EU. I think for Ireland, its relationship with the EU is far more important than its relationship with the Eurozone given that Ireland's growth model is based entirely on its exports, um, and its exports are reliant largely on multinational companies that are using Ireland as a springboard to get access to the common market. So I personally think that the Eurozone will end up splitting up. Um, it won't look like it does now in five years, um, but I do think that the EU will stick together. And so I think the Irish government, you know, reneging on this bond repayment tomorrow, that's chump change in the grand scheme of things. Um, is it morally correct? No, I don't think so. But I think that the Irish government, if it's uh, keeping Ireland's best interests in mind, needs to stay the course, um, go ahead, play ball with the Troika um, until other countries start peeling out of the Eurozone. And that way it can protect its relationships with other EU countries. And how will that, if other countries start peeling out of the Eurozone, how will that advantage us? Uh, well, you know, I think Greece will probably be the first country to exit the Eurozone, um, followed by Portugal and Cyprus, um, at which point, you know, even if Ireland can pay, it may choose not to. It may strategically default exit the Eurozone, clear the deck, and return to growth much faster. And fundamentally, this all comes down to growth. I mean, this has been touted as a debt crisis, a fiscal crisis, a banking crisis, a political crisis. It's all of those, but above all else, it's a growth crisis. And that's true for Ireland, as well as the other peripheral countries. I mean, Ireland did return to growth, but we've seen its growth falter. And its export markets, you know, the UK, the US, and the Eurozone are all set to either contract or at best go into stall speed. And given that's, that, that that's the case, I don't think that Ireland will see growth over the next few years. Well, we did experience growth last year, it has to be said. Our national income grew by 1% <laughs> and we're going to experience some growth How, how do you know we, well. we experienced growth last year in 2011? How do you know that? Because the Department of Finance figures showed that national income grew by 1.1%. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's acceptable. But, 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 I'm not but, but, saying but, but, it translated wait, 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 into minute, jobs growth. Now. But that the, did happen. But, but is that is that is is, is it likely to transpire? Is, is it likely to transpire as such? Because there was negative growth in the third quarter, and there are indications that there was further negative growth, even deeper contraction in the fourth quarter. But that, that's so, that's what was in the forecast that the Department of Finance did. They said we're going to have a strong first half, which we have, and w which we had, and we would have a weaker second half. But overall, but project, overall, yeah. we would see national income growth across last uh, year. All right. Maybe, maybe, and that's uh, you, what will but in the last in uh, last half of last year we were in contraction. The economy was, we, was had gone I, into uh, a, another recession. I, I accept and that. The, and that the, all the indications are that we're in, I, we're, we're that recession is deepening now. I, uh, so all this 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 confidence is whistling in the dark also, stuff. It's not, get, dark. It's not Vincent, getting it very I, far. Vincent, I'm not whistling in the dark in the dark. I am deeply aware of the huge human cost of what we're going through. I'm simply making the point that across last year, our national income did grow. That's a fact. It isn't a fact. We don't know whether it's a fact or not. This is more of the carry-on that you guys go on. We don't know. We have to wait in a few other months to find out what happened in the fourth quarter for us to know what happened in the year as a whole. That's a fact. 
Well, not what you're saying. Is your, what no, you're saying the, the, is a surmise. The figures that I have seen from the Department of Finance and elsewhere <laughs> show that initial income, national income grew. That's all I'm saying, and it's a point that can be stood over. I mean, Megan, in her own contribution, acknowledged that across last year it did grow. And the net effect of what the net point that Megan is making there is that it continues to be in our interest at the moment to work with these people, because we can't get any money off anybody else, and find a way of reforming the deal, which but is what we're looking to do. But she's also talking about and raising the prospect of us leaving the Eurozone, and she thinks that this might be in yeah. our interest, as long as we stay within the EU. But I want to go on. I want to uh, go to uh, Gavin.